Brian Stander, Dubuque's complete car care center, is now Dubuque's most convenient. The Winston NASCAR Grand American Late Models have taken to the Speedway, and here's the alignment for their feature event. In row one, out of Des Moines, Iowa, Jeff French. Outside of him, Mitch Fredheim from Decora. In row two, it's Wayne Young from Epworth and Greg Hunter from Independence. In row three, from Durango, Gary Tegas, and from Independence, Gary Crawford. Row four, Kurt Martin from Independence, and Dale Fishline, also from Independence. In row five, it's Rick Wendling from Hazelton and Jeff Ike from Cedar Falls. Roger Dolan of Lisbon and Red Drolley from Waterloo make up row six. In row seven, it's Raleigh Frank of Davenport and Denny Ansel from Dubuque. Row eight, Ron Boyce from Kelowna and Harley McWilliams of Platteville, Wisconsin. And in the ninth and final row, it's Steve Boley from LeClaire and Dave Buter from Tipton. And earlier tonight in the Grand American Late Model Division, it was Mitch Fredheim taking that first heat and Gary Tigas of Durango taking heat number two. Well, what we're doing all the playing around there for, Jim, it seems like we should be getting lined up and racing, but Jeff French seems to want to get out and spin his tires a little bit. The light has gone off, and we should get a green flag this time, and can Roger Dolan make it three in a row again this weekend? He's already won two at Cedar Rapids and West Liberty. Out of turn number four, the green flag waves to start tonight's late model feature event. Side by side, three wide. Out of turn number two, Greg Hunter on the inside. In the middle, Jeff French on the outside. Mitch Fredheim, and Mitch Fredheim pulls into the lead by a nose. Greg Hunter now challenging outside of turn four. Jerry Crawford running low, and he's running up in about the third position. Dale Fishline's moved on up, as has Jeff Ike. Crawford got a little loose coming down to back straight, but able to get her straightened out. He really got tagged hard in the rear end by Fred Heim that time. Excellent driving by Crawford to keep it under control. Well, we're running four breaths coming around that turn number two that time, Jim. Excellent race so far. Gary Crawford has really winged his way out of that pack, Dick. That's right, Crawford running in strong third, coming up for second. position, Kurt Martin, Jeff Ike, and Mitch Fredheim. Crawford is now pulled into that second position as he came down the front straightaway that time. He pulls away from Hunter by about two or three car lengths. He now has his sights set on Jeff French. This is the fastest we've seen Gary Crawford this season here at Dubuque. Right, and Mitch Fredheim, of course, has a new ride in that number, the blue number 82, and he seems to be doing extremely well tonight. I did make a mistake on that last lap. That is Mitch Fredheim in the lead, not the car D2 of Jeff French. Both cars are white in the front and blue on the sides with yellow numbers. One's a D2 and one's an 82, and I just didn't pick up the number. I'm sorry about that. Another car has made a lot of moves up through the pack. Is Kurt Martin, who's now up there challenging with the top four cars. Gary Tiggis is running low, and Jeff Ike is running up there. The yellow car of Dolan seems to be sort of trapped back there in lap traffic. For the last couple of laps around, he was trapped behind cars that were running three wide. Now they've thinned out a little bit, and he's starting to pick off a couple. The top four cars are just stretched right out, running single file down the main street. But Fred Hein, Crawford, Hunter, and Martin. And Jeff Ike is... Running a very strong fifth. Gary Tickets running low in the sixth place, and Dale Fishline is also up in the hunt. And problems on the car 47. Dave Buter out of Tipton. He gets it back on the gas, and he's now being put a lap down by Mitch Fredheim and the lead pack. Crawford challenging for first place. Crawford and Hunter running a low groove. Hunter running extremely low. Crawford running about the middle of the pack. Problems, problems in turn one. Problems, problems. The six 
66 car of uh, Gary Tickets got crossed up. And the next thing we knew, we had the 78 car and the 77 car coming together right down underneath us, coming out into turn one. That's, of course, Jeff Ike and Rick Windling. And Ike's got some sheet metal problems on the front of the car. It doesn't look like it's hurt otherwise. I almost wondered if Gary Tegas didn't have a tire that went down because as his car spun around low in turn number one, when it went sideways, the uh, driver the number 19 car, I imagine if anybody wanted a yellow flag, it was probably Roger Dolan. Now Greg Hunter on the low side of the track looks to put the moves on Gary Crawford for that second position. And three abreast running out of turn number four with Crawford and sliding, changing sides, actually, there. And those two cars get together. Hunter sideways. Crawford gets on the brakes. And they both lose two positions. That really allows Kurt Martin to move up into second place into the hunt. And that number 50 car, Roger Dolan, is very much in the race at this point. Showing the way around, of course, and Mitch ran a very good race at the heat tonight. Seems to have everything hooked up just right at a number 82 car. Another car making a good move right now is the number 22 car of Dale Fishline. He seems to have everything hooked up, and he's moved into third position ahead of Greg Hunter and Gary, Gary Crawford. Steve Bowley limping around and into the access area on the front chute for the pits. And I'm going to assume that perhaps he was stranded somewhere on the track that we weren't able to see. Could have been down behind the building. It's hard to see uh, the down under there in turn number three from our position up here on top of the truck high above turn number one. Full straightaway lead. Before the checkered flew, Dolan was able to reel him in and pass him for the win. That's, that's racing. The green flag waves to restart tonight's late model feature event. Kurt Martin being challenged by Mitch Fredheim down the back straightaway. And now Dale Fishline moves up to battle for that second position. He has his sights set on the rear bumper of Kurt Martin in the car 45. And Roger Dolan got a really good start that time. Moves around Gary Crawford. Roger's really, he and 
trying to run it at high groove. Everybody's running low. And then everybody comes sailing around here. Three wide for that second position down there between Raleigh Frank, Mitch Fredheim, and Dale Fishline. And they just pitched Mitch Fredheim right out of the picture that time. And they're going to run that high groove. You can tell that, which is unusual for Golan, but apparently found out his car would run better up there. The problem for Dolan right now is he has to figure out a way to get by fish line. And Raleigh Frank has moved up into second position, squeezing out Fredheim, and we have the white flag coming around, Jim, so we don't have much time left to go. Kurt Martin leads the pack down the back straightaway. He's looking for turn three. He sets the car up. He eases the car around turn number four, and he'll be tonight's feature winner at the Dubuque County Fairgrounds Speedway. Cars make it in across. We have with us now Carl C.